let's start off the review by opening up the iPod Touch box. You get the iPod Touch on a tray, as well as the normal headphones that Apple includes, just the basic ones with no mic. It has a silver plated jack, so you know it's just there for until you get a new pair. You also get the fingertips, which tells you where to start and how to get your iPod up and running in no time. And what's great about Apple is that they actually include their nice sleek stickers which you can stick anywhere you'd like on the iPod, on your door, on your desk. And of course the USB sync cable. And this year's is kind of different. You got a more squared off USB 2.0 port. The last time was more rounded. As well as the 30 pin jack looks a little bit better. The iPod Touch 2G has a Wi-Fi signal bar at the top of it, which can get a little annoying. On the iPod Touch 4, you just get the mic and the camera. And of course, the beautiful Retina display. And on the top, you get your VGA front face camera. On the bottom, you have a speaker port, which is basically the only new thing. One problem is putting in the 30 pin jack. It takes a long time to put in and feels like you're going to break your iPod. And taking it out is another chore. So you can see how long it's taking me. And for the 2G slash 3G, you can just pop it in and pop it out like nothing. So the comparison of the size, you can see that the width is way thicker on the 2G compared to the 4G. As well, you can really feel that in your hand when you pick them up. So overall, the 4G is way nicer in your hand. For the retina display, we'll give you one comparison. I took a snapshot of me typing in hello in notes. And let's just zoom up onto the keyboard. And I'll zoom up way close so you can see some of the pixels. And you can see the 4G does win by quite a bit. So let's get on with the iPod Touch 4th generation um, inside features as well as its firmware that is come preloaded onto the iPod before it's jailbroken. So let's just get straight on into it. Basically it's the same OS as the last few versions. You got your slide to on your lock and then you have optional of having a passcode on there like I had to and you can have a keyboard passcode so you could put your name as the password um, or you can have numbers my favorite's numbers just because it's easier to remember and here's your startup screen like usual it's basically the same thing you'll always get with a few new icons such as game center camera and facetime those are basically the three new icons so let's first go into camera just because it's the main feature and if you don't want to watch all this video to learn about the camera you don't have to so the camera is a 0.7 megapixels which is not that good it's not even a megapixel and um, just so you guys know the iPhone 4 has a 5 megapixel camera which is quite a big difference uh, on the iPod touch the video quality looks amazing once you upload it to your computer which I'll show you in a few seconds now it just doesn't look as amazing, but it's great for if you're with friends or somewhere like that. You don't have tap to focus, which is kind of annoying, but you do have something the iPhone 4 doesn't, which you can focus on white balance onto the keyboard and everything else is blacked out, which could be a problem, or you can make this more white and focus more up on the top. So it's basically a little confusing. You tap basically where you want to see more than the other object. And of course, it works way better outside than inside, because I don't have the best lighting. Um, you have your features like turning it over to your front-facing camera, which is VGA resolution 640 by 480, um, which is all right. I'm, I don't really notice much of a difference between the back and the front. And just to let you know that the back camera, the resolution is actually just stretched. So Apple takes. Um, quite a bad resolution with the 0.7 megapixel camera stretches it and says it's HD 
it's not going to be your full HD you would expect. So we'll just turn it around so I avoid seeing my face. And you have an option to slide the camera or to your camcorder, basically. If you click on this bottom icon down here, you get to all your films. Alright. So you have all of your film and everything. You can click on it, play it, edit it, slide to um, the other one. So it's a very nice interface. You can also purchase iMovie if you get bored of this, which is basically just cropping front and end. And of course, you've got the button down below to take your picture. So that's basically the camera. It's pretty simple, um, easy to use, which is great. Um, I can't really show you FaceTime right now. You guys can watch another video about FaceTime. I can't show you it just because um, it has all my contact info in it and I don't exactly want you to know it. But we can go into Game Center and if you want to add me, I don't exactly have the game in here yet until I jailbreak break, but I have my account which is right there, TechEd1000 of course, and you can add me at TechEd1000 at gmail.com and we can do Game Center. In Game Center you basically have your friends, your games, and the requests for friends. And of course I have no friends. Um, also, you might not know this, but you do have folders, which is kind of sad if you don't know what photo folders, just because it's quite a main feature now. But we've got, basically, I use this one as utility. And so if we slide over to this page, I do have folders. And um, for photography, I'll just open that. I want to show you, there's these two app free applications, Camera Plus and Super Camera. Um, these give you more options for your camera, like zooming during a video. Uh, free versions don't have those, but it's also an option if you want to buy that. And you have also your just main features like App Store, Voice Memos, Videos, iTunes, Clock, Mail, Settings, and Music, which I don't exactly have to go into that much. So let's go into some of the specs. It has a 1 GHz processor, which is pretty amazing. So we'll open up Safari. And I'll give you quite a bit of a test on here. It has a 1 gigahertz processor. And uh, I'm just going to show you how fast some things go. I'm going to go into here and exit out of all the pages I have open. That's awful. Alright. And um, so I have no multitasking things open. I have no other pages open. So it's going to be pretty accurate. I just charged it so it's pretty good on battery. And you guys can see it is much faster than the last generation. Um, I'm not quite sure on the RAM. I think it's around 200. But yeah, you do have all your features you have and a beautiful retina display. Um, I forgot to mention, but it is great. It's not the same as the iPhone, of course, if I show you this. Okay, if you turn it sideways, it gets a little darker with the iPhone. It's pretty much 100% great. If you turn it sideways, everyone will be able to see it. So there you guys have a look at the new iPod Touch 4th generation as well as the iOS inside of it that comes preloaded at this time. So here is some of the camera tests and it will end the video. So here we go.